What's going on guys? Today we're going to be making a video about Fast Compound and Fast Polish from McKees 37. We're working on this really, really nice Audi TT that's uh, pretty swirled out, as you can see in the light. So this is the section we're going to be using the polishes on. The whole entire car is, is, is pretty much the same. So let's let's get into the polishing. I'm going to demonstrate how easy these polishes are to use and how elite of a finish they give you. We're going to start off with fast compound. This is a brand new microfiber cutting pad. So I'm going to apply some more product to start again because it's brand new. I'm going to prime it. I'm going to work this section. I'm going to pull the tape off. I don't want to pick up any residue in the towel. I didn't get close to the tape, to the edge of the tape. I didn't want to pick up any residue in the pad. You could see from there to that. All the scratches and swirls are gone, but you can notice a really, really slight haze. It's very, very slight though, and that is due to the aggressive microfiber cutting pad. If we was going to be using foam, it finishes a lot better, even though that finish is uh, pretty, pretty well considering how aggressive the pad is. So to take the gloss to a higher level, We're going to swap to a polishing pad and we're going to be using the fast polish fine cut and the reason why I like using these polishes is again the ease of use. I did, I don't know, four or five passes there and the panel is almost perfect. Now I can just go to polishing.
get a new tongue. These polishes are body shop safe. There's no silicone. So what you see is what you get. It contains no fillers or anything like that. And look at that. Just crisp, true reflections. And we didn't need a million passes. We got those kind of results and literally two complete buffing cycles with each product. So one complete buffing cycle with fast compound and one complete buffing cycle with fast polish. So we'll bring you guys a little bit closer. However, my light is pretty powerful. Sometimes it could drown out the camera. There's a deeper scratch right there. Again, if we wanted to chase that, I would have to do more passes, but did an absolute phenomenal job. And I am a huge, huge fan. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.